My name is Andrew Getson. I'm the Clinical Director of Sports Medicine and Athletic Performance, Cuga Medical Center in lovely Ithaca, New York. I'm also the director of our Shortness of Breath in the Athlete Clinic, as well as the head team doctor for USA Triathlon. Here in Ithaca, New York, at our clinic, we have a passion for helping people achieve their exercise goals. Unfortunately, up to 50% of athletes of all levels experience breathlessness with exercise. The challenge is trying to determine what the cause of that breathlessness is. And patients often see multiple doctors without getting a clear answer. And, and, and the key we've learned is to obtain good, objective data to help come up with a diagnosis. So when clients first come to our center, we do a good history and physical exam. We subsequently then get some baseline testing, including a chest x-ray. We do a complete blood count to make sure they're not anemic. We then will do an ECG to look at their electrical activity. And we do some baseline lung function called spirometry, where we measure how much air they expire and how rapidly. We then treat them as if they had asthma and see if that has improved to evaluate whether they have underlying untreated asthma. In many individuals, we might know the answer at that point, but probably for the majority, we do not. So then we subsequently will then test for asthma. What we do is we exercise the individual according to American Thoracic Society guidelines, put them on the treadmill, we do metabolic gas exchange, we're measuring their oxygenation, we obtain a good VO2 max and a heart rate max, but more importantly, we try to have a pro provocation so if they were to have asthma, it would provoke asthma. So we measure the lung function beforehand, put them in treadmill and exercise, then measure the lung function afterwards, and if they drop their lung function, that's consistent with asthma. The majority of clients who enter our clinic come with a diagnosis of asthma, but the reality is the majority of clients don't leave the diagnosis of asthma. The majority of people we see have a problem called exercise-induced laryngeal obstruction. Exercise-induced laryngeal obstruction is a narrowing of the upper airway, not down the lungs, but the upper airway during max exertion. It tends to be an inspiratory problem when they have problems breathing in. Our clients report sort of breathing through a straw. It becomes quite difficult and often can be very alarming and it's quite often missed by, by clinicians uh, throughout the community. The only way to properly diagnose it is to do a test where you're actually looking at their airway when they exercise. So we do a procedure called continuous laryngoscopy with exercise. We're one of the few centers in the world to perform this. But what we do is we numb the person's nose, we put a flexible fiber optic tube into the nose so we can visualize their upper airway. We secure it to a, a, a headgear that we arrange. Then we have them run on the treadmill, or we have them bike, or have them er, use an erg machine, whatever provokes their symptoms. And then we evaluate their upper airway during exercise. Uh, and then we actually will use that time also to show it to the clients if in fact the upper airway is narrowed, we can show the clients so they can under, have a good understanding of it. The, this problem used to be called vocal cord dysfunction, so many of you might have heard of that. The reality is that's probably a misdiagnosis because the majority of obstruction occurs above the level of vocal cords in the supraglottic tissue. And based on the results of the, of the, test, of the testing, when we see what obstruction is and what the upper airway looks like, we can provide an appropriate treatment plan. The majority of our patients do quite well with speech therapy, which is a non-invasive treatment. In fact, our speech therapist is, is an integral member of our team. Some of those individuals might need to have a laser surgery performed by Dr. La Dr. Strominger, our otolaryngologist who's part of our team. Either way, whatever the problem is, we're confident that if somebody has shortness of breath with exercise that we can obtain the appropriate objective evidence to make a good diagnosis, to provide a good treatment plan, to get the individual back to achieving their athletic goals. And we're happy to welcome all comers to Ithaca, New York to try to figure this out and help our, our clients achieve their athletic goals.